What's up guys my name is Ali A, and today we are talking about war crimes. Teabagging has long had a place in the shooter genre, with its origins dating back, at least as far as Counter-Strike in 1999, before being adopted as a disrespectful mainstream practice, with the release of 2001's Halo Combat Evolved. However, we wanted to ask ourselves whether in a real wartime setting, the beloved video game sign of disrespect would technically be considered a war crime. As a code for international humanitarian law, the original Geneva Convention was adopted in 1864 to establish the Red Cross as a neutral symbol that afforded medical personnel, majors, and other healers adequate protection to help the wounded without being ganked themselves. Soon after its introduction, other classes were added to the no-kill list, such as NPCs and other civilians who didn't spec into a combat role. After two world wars, People who had a particular interest in minimizing the suffering of humankind figured it would be a perfect time to get serious about this whole human rights thing, especially since the world had just been introduced to weapons that looked like they belonged on the Death Star. In 1949, the protections of individual aides and civilian workers would be once again recorded and expanded upon, and over the years would see three additional protocols. Protocol 1. Protect victims of international conflict, Protocol 2, protect victims of non-international conflict, and Protocol 3, don't shoot people wearing a red cross. Before long time viewers ask if there happened to be a member of an air force wearing a red cross, you could indeed say that Protocol 3 is to protect the pilot. Starting off as a loose collection of gentlemen's agreements, the Geneva Convention is much more fine-tuned today, and luckily for the purposes of this video, it even has a full list of war crimes that makes our research a shit ton easier. Out of the whole list, it seems as if debagging would likely come under the prohibition of torture or inhumane treatment. Assuming a person did this to a wounded soldier, or even a combatant trying to surrender, you could likely make the case that this would be classified as inhumane treatment without much trouble. Furthermore, trying our best to stay away from YouTube's dreaded yellow mark of death, if the act of teabagging involved a body part going into another body part, this would easily be grounds for a war crime. Lastly, as civilians are especially protected, it would be even easier to constitute such hostility as a breach of international law. To go one step further, we even tried to find any evidence of teabagging in a wartime setting. However, we found no tangible evidence of this occurring. What we did find was a 2005 incident where a member of the Australian Navy was photographed teabagging a superior officer while he was sleeping. The man was later charged for his actions, and was officially discharged two years later, meaning whether or not it's one kind of crime or another, the lesson at the end of the day is that it probably isn't appropriate for the workplace. Viewers who might be considering committing war crimes of their own will probably want to look their best, and with our friends from Manscaped, you'll be able to break the Geneva Convention in style. With Manscaped's Performance Package Kit, you'll have everything you need to impress that special someone and give yourself enough confidence to disrespect your enemies, even in the raging heat of battle. The Crop Preserver will be able to keep your sack fresher than the corpses of your dead enemies. The Weed Whacker will keep those nose hairs more absent than an opponent worthy of your time. And the Shears 2.0 will keep those nails cleaner than that legendary play you made in 2018 that had the in-game chat filled with accusations. The flagship of the pack is the new Lawnmower 4.0, which is a waterproof trimmer, rumored to be as quiet as a water-cooled PC, and more delicate than your first attempt at installing your CPU. You never know when your cop might be expecting company, but with Manscaped, you'll always be ready for a surprise doctor's appointment, a date with that special someone, or just a fun get-together with the homies. As always, checking out with the code on screen will get you two free gifts, 20% off, and free international shipping. Manscaped. Don't say Uncle Swag never did anything for your penis.